Hey there, welcome to Mac the Tech. I am Muhammad, and I'm passionate about business analytics. I've spent years mastering various analytics tools, but the one that always stood out to me is Power BI. Power BI is an incredibly powerful tool that can help you transform your data into valuable insights. With it, you can visualize your data in a way that makes sense and uncover hidden patterns and trends that can help you make informed decisions. On this channel, we'll be diving deep into Power BI. I'll be sharing tips and tricks, walking you through how to use different features and showcasing real world examples of how you can use Power BI and drive business success. I'm excited to share my knowledge with you and help you take your analytics skills to the next level. So if you are ready to unlock the full potential of Power BI, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join me on this journey. Finally, finally, there's a way to work on Power BI on the iPad in a smooth way where you can edit. It's a dream come true for me. I don't believe that it took them that much to reach this point. Now, if you are an advocate of Power BI, you can have Power BI on the Mac or on the iPad. But today, I'm so excited because like, the best device that I like to work on most of the time, take my notes, do everything I want, is now have or support Power BI. Let me drive you through and walk you through Power BI Services. Power BI Services is a web-based service. So if you go to Power BI Services and you go to the workspace, now, if you have a premium workspace, then your admin should set this up for you so that users can be able to edit data sets. Now on my workspace here, let me show you how you can do it in a very easy way. Be careful, this is still in preview, but it is a step in the right direction, definitely. I'm so excited for this and I'm so excited to try it out in front of you. Let's bring the mouse and start working. If you want to check this out, I will go to the same sample that I've been using for the whole time on this channel, Complexity, Profitability, Sample, Power BI. And when I go to this sample that you see over here, and here you can see the different pages that I use in Power BI. We go to the three dots in here, and we go Edit. When you go to Edit, you will see in a very easy way, these are the things that we used to work with. If I go to sample data, I see here lower bound. So lower bound is a measure that I use. I cannot see the measure in the Power BI uh, services. This was the case before this open data model is now available. As I told you, it's still in preview. So many of the things that you see here might not yet be available. Open data model. So if you go to open data model now, you will find a new session of the Power BI desktop is opening, uh, the Power BI services is opening, and in this session, you can do things that you weren't able to do before. First of all, you see your model the way it is configured. And this is very important because once you see the model, you can do a lot of things on the model here. I'm trying to expand this here so that we can be able to see okay so remember that before we couldn't see the measure that we wrote here but now i can see the measure and i can edit the measure in here to do whatever i want in terms of calculations this is very very important and i can do this on the ipad it's a mind-blowing thing to be honest as well i can go to product family I can see also the product family in the DAX and I can edit all these information. Definitely there's something on the iPad that's not working here, but let's say if I want to like, okay. So let's say I want to say this one is fam five and then close the brackets and then close this one. And I press return working on it. So instead now of having family one, two, three, and four, I'm having family one, two, three, and five. So if I go back to this, be careful. One of the things that you need to be very, very keen on it, any changes you do to the data set in here, it will be saved automatically. So this is something that you need to take care of. 
So if I go to the page that I want to see the switch function maybe, you see here immediately it's changed from to product instead of family four, now it's family five. And that's what I'm saying. It's it's very fast, it's it's very keen. Now I changed in the switch. So product family is still in the product family four, but in the switch type, the switch DAX formula, you can go check it in the previous episodes that I did. I'm so excited with this. It's just launched, it's, it's still in preview, but it's so exciting to see that. As well, we can do a lot in in the data model here. So let me try to hit this increase. You can see now I can even play with the data model. I can connect this connect relationship. I can do anything and okay, majority of the things that I can do in Power BI desktop in here. This is so exciting and it's so amazing. Wow. The sky is the limit. Now you can do, you can connect data to the, through the iPad, on the iPad, through Power BI services, and you can use DAX to change whatever you want to make changes. You can add parameter fields, you can add roles, new reports, new column, new measure, new table. This is probably the best revolutionary thing that happened to the Power BI community ever since it was launched. Now, if you are a Mac person, or if you want to have a Mac, you can have a Mac and work on Power BI services. You can have a Mac, you can have an iPad, you can have any device, even if it doesn't support Power BI desktop, and you can do all the edits that you want. Similarly, the way I'm doing it right now, you can see I see all the data, I can see all the models, and I can see in real time the changes that happening. This is awesome. Another thing that I want to say before we, we, we leave this, this thing and we explore it even further and further, is that you don't need even your device anymore. You can be at a friend's house and just log in into your Power BI services and do the changes wherever you are. This is really mind blowing. I hope you liked this episode. Until next time, have a nice day. That's all for today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to give it a thumb up and hit that subscribe button for more Power BI content. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I love hearing from you and I'm always here to help. And don't forget to check out my other videos for more tips and tricks on using Power BI. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.